And in order to commemorate 2024 International Menstrual Hygiene Day, a non-governmental organization, Krisa Foundation, has donated 10,000 sanitary pads and hygiene kits to school for a girl child to stay in school during and after menstruation. Chief Executive Officer of the Foundation, Rabbi Adamu, says educating the male folks on the subject of menstruation will provide them with adequate knowledge to encourage the female gender during the period. She advocates for subsidies of menstrual kits and the availability of products to improve the well-being of girl child while calling on the government to put in mechanisms to ensure menstrual hygiene and a friendly environment in schools for girls children. We have to be very intentional. We want to be intentional about even the male students because we want to raise male champions in society. We want to talk to the male champions about menstruation, about menstrual hygiene. They need to understand this topic because it is very, very important. I mean, we do have condoms placed everywhere in society. Why not sanitary pads, which is even more important. A lot of girls are out of schools because they cannot even afford something as little as sanitary pads. We're calling on the government to, you know, um, we're advocating for Policies, you know, to encourage the, to, to encourage um, the use of this product and to also make them readily available and very accessible to common people. I will tell you that we have visited so many communities, and most of these issues are not just affecting people at the urban area, but most especially people at the, the young girls at the rural communities. So we are actually advocating for this uh, period-friendly environment in such a way that at least even tax. Oh, subsidy can be reduced on this uh, um, menstrual hygiene product so that at least people at the rural communities can have access to that. And statistics have been shown that over, 30, over 39, only 39% of women have access to this menstrual hygiene product, most especially people at the urban areas. And most especially, even people at the urban areas are people that have come from a background that has good, what, very good income. And some of the students who are participants say the campaign has exposed them to adequate knowledge that menstruation could be tracked and to take proactive measures on premenstruation syndrome. When it comes to menstrual hygiene, I think the role that we play in that is that I will know how I'm going to support the, the ladies because of, I don't think it's easy for them because they are, they are actually going through a lot. The pain, the cramps, the mood swings, there is so much going on about it. So the ladies, we have to just take care of them, we have to treat them right and understand them. The country should, is very hard right now because I don't see the reason why um, condoms we should be used for preventing pregnancy will be sold will be sold at cheap prices and these um, parts that we need that is very essential because we didn't just bring this to ourselves we are made for it like this is how we are created so this measure part should be given to us even if not for free at least at cheaper prices